Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to read data from a USB device in Python. So by the time this video is over, you're going to know how to write a program that could read from, say, an SNES controller like I did in a later video. And you'll also know a few tips and tricks for how to figure out information from an unknown USB device on the command line. So let's get started. If you want to look at the list of devices connected to your laptop via USB, you can just use the command lsusb right here. So this will show us, like, I've got, uh, well, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That's my mouse, and I don't know what that is. A lot of this stuff in Linux, I think, is just default, because I've only got one thing connected via USB, and that's my mouse. Uh, so if I disconnected that and I ran lsusb again, as you can see, these other four things, I don't know what they are, they're all internal. So don't really worry about that, but we're gonna plug this back in. Um, so here we have a list of stuff that is connected in via USB. So if we wanna look at one of these specifically, you do lsusb-d, you're gonna say dash dev slash bus, if I could spell it right, slash USB slash and then I want to take a look at our mouse. So we're going to have this number right here. And then we're going to do slash and this number right here. 005. So that gives us a bunch of information on the mouse that is going to be very useful for us when we go to read it in Python. It has a device descriptor. Every USB device has this along with a vendor and product ID. So these two two byte pieces of information is what's going to give us is what's going to allow us to identify which device specifically we're trying to access with usb it's like an identifier for it so we're gonna have to hold on to 045e and 0040 and then within usb we have a few different like configurations and each configuration has an interface each interface has some endpoints and that's the like physical address that we're going to be reading from but you'll see that in Python. So let's switch over to our Python code here. As you can see, I haven't written anything yet. Uh, I will be making extensive use of the PyUSB library. Uh, and if you, if you haven't downloaded that yet, I will have the download command on the screen here. I think it's like pip install PyUSB, or you know, probably something like that. So to start it off, once you've downloaded it, you just do import usb.core. I can't spell today, apparently, so I'm going to save that. And this is where you can finally start reading stuff from USB. So we want to get our device, so dev is going to equal usb.core.find. Well, I really can't spell today. So we're going to have id vendor equals something and then id product equals something else. And we're going to pass in those values that we saw in our lsusb. So our vendor id is going to be this and 040 is going to be for product, so vendor and product IDs. So this is going to represent our mouse now. Now we want to get the right endpoint, so we're going to say ep equals dev, and then interfaces, we're going to get that first interface, and then dot endpoints, and we're going to get that first endpoint. So now we can actually read from this file buffer right here. Or, sorry, we have to have dev zero to get that first device within this list here. And we also want to get an interface number, so i is going to equal dev0 and then, you know, dot interfaces 0 dot b interface number. Pretty simple. So now that we have a descriptor of our USB device, we're going to say dev.reset. Uh, so this is going to reset whatever is currently running on this device, whatever process is currently listening to it. I'm going to say if dev dot is kernel driver active, then dev dot detach kernel driver. So what this is going to do is, is it's going to say if there's a process currently listening to the USB data from this device, we're going to tell it to stop so that way we ourselves can attach to it in its place. So I'm going to say dev.sets configuration just to start it up. Now we want to get the actual address that we're going to read from. So it's going to be endpoint address and equals ep.b endpoint address. There we go. So then now we have a literal byte stream that we can just read from, read a certain amount of bytes from whenever we want. 
And it's gonna be really easy to do this. All you have to do is say r equals dev.read. We're gonna get that endpoint address and we're gonna get the number of bytes that we wanna read. So we're gonna say 100 just because I don't have any experience with reading from a USB mouse. So I have no idea what the actual spec is. I know some use USB devices like the SNES controller, they give you a set amount of bytes as the first read. In the SNES controller's case, it's 96 bytes. And then every time it can, it'll send eight bytes, which correspond to which buttons are being pressed. I don't know how to do that with the mouse, so I should have read the spec, but eh, we're gonna feel our way around it this time. So let's actually see how many bytes are read out of this 100. Or you know what, let's give it 1024. So I'm assuming it's gonna actually read in less bytes than this, so that way we'll know how many bytes is read right off the bat, if any. So let's go ahead and run this. Oh, that's right. We're gonna to wanna to run this with sudo. Oh yeah, so in my sudo, if I do Python, it's actually Python 2. So let's specify Python 3 real quick. Right, I knew I needed the interface number for a reason. You have to pass that into is kernel driver active because if a USB device has different interfaces, then you can have different processes listening on those interfaces at the same time. So you have to be pretty careful with some of this USB stuff. All right, what is this, like fourth time? Fourth time's a charm. Oh, what do you know? It, uh, it isn't. Okay, it's saying operation timed out, so it must not have read anything. But if I move it around, there we go. So it read 472 bytes. And now I can't really use the mouse for its intended purpose anymore because remember, it was attached to this new Python process. Uh, so if I unplug it and plug it back in, the kernel driver takes over again. So that's good. All right, so read 472 bytes. I'm not actually going to reverse engineer this uh, in this video because that would be a bit much probably. And there's a helicopter going over my house right now. Yeah, so I'm not gonna reverse engineer this in this video. Uh, I suggest you would you read the spec of whatever USB device you are trying to use. But it looks like this mouse doesn't probably doesn't give any bytes right off the bat. I think it only sends bytes whenever it detects it's been moved. So now you know how to interface with basic USB devices in Python. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media, or click the little notification bell so that way you never miss out when I upload a new video. If you would like to see more from this channel, there are videos all around the screen here. Also, it would help if you subscribe or click the notification bell so that way you can see more from the channel. That's pretty much all I've got for you guys today, so thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week.